This is Adept's preview experiments. They have a workflow experiment. That's the only one they have right now, which will allow you to essentially automate web tasks through a graphical user interface. And they have a few different samples that you can run. So I'm gonna start with the Google Maps walking tour. These are all pre-programmed by Adept. And you can see they got a bunch of instructions of things to do on Google Maps. So it's running through these automatically. Uh, I just hit play, I haven't provided any of this input or mouse movement, any of this stuff that is happening on screen right now. And I've sped it up, but uh, there you can see that it completed those instructions successfully. And so now I want to test some form filling. So again, this has some Google Maps stuff, but it will also fill out uh, a Google survey form. All of the stuff that happens on screen is because Adept can recognize things with computer vision. It doesn't actually use the DOM. So here you can see the Adept cursor is going to the right spots on the screen. It's submitting data to the survey. And this is the code that it runs. The code is a bit simplistic, so I'm very curious to dig into how it's doing this. You can see the function that it calls is just answer question about screen for the map stuff. And then for the field stuff, click your answer field near San Francisco. It's very broad. We don't have anything in the way of documentation as far as I can tell. So uh, we just have to kind of guess at how it's doing these things. So if you want to try Adept, Join the waitlist or bug someone you know that works at Adept. I luckily do. Thank you, Rupert Perry via Thomas Lodato. So now I want to see if I can make my own workflow. I've never used this before, so we'll see how far we get. What I've been wanting to do for a while is use my app called PodQuest to be able to retrieve a list of the top podcasts and search for them in my app and transcribe them. So let's see how far we can get there. PodQuest. Transcription, we'll call it. And so we'll say we want to go to a URL. Chartable has a list of the top podcasts. And then I'm not sure if we need to wait for any specific amount of time, but eventually what we want to do is click on the first search result. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to know to do that. You can't click on these numbers and the text is always going to change. So I don't want to say what now with Trevor Noah. So let's try just explaining it. First link on the page. It's not even the first link because we've got a nav bar. So first link underneath the heading. When we click that, I would like to be able to just copy. I, I don't even really need to click into the link. What I want to be able to do is find the first episode. So that might come from the RSS feed. So say click RSS feed. I like the fact that it's letting you use very natural language, but I'm not quite sure how well that will work. I have seen other visual automation tools that allow you to click on things on screen and automate the flow that way. So that would kind of be a little more foolproof, I would imagine, but let's see how we do. Again, what I want to copy is like the first episode. So that would probably be this item here. So that's probably as far as I could get in this workflow. Let's see if it does. We bring up the website. Uh, it clicked the text the first because it happened to be there, but that did not work. So it's stuck on that workflow. And let's see if we can just use my app. So let's do a new one. Use PodQuest. So we're going to add a step. Go to a URL. This is PodQuest. And then we're going to want to click on the select button under questions and highlights. And when we do that, let's just search for this podcast what now with Trevor Noah into the podcast name field. And this is the matching results field. So let's see. Yeah, we'll just try select podcast. 
Action Result Select field, and then we want to click the the first field option in the matching results select box. And then we want to click the first result in the select episode select box. And we'll just see if it can transcribe. So you can see if I do those actions, it's transcribing this podcast. Okay, so it might have timed out, but it actually lost my entire workflow. So I've, I've retyped it in here, but it's a bit different. Let's see what happens when we run it now. Okay, got the website. It clicks the right select button, it looked like. Nice, typed in the right thing, hit submit, good. The wait probably wasn't necessary. Uh, I can't seem to select that option. So it's clicking the select field, but then it's not choosing an option. So that didn't work either. Uh, we could try to get that to work, but um, my guess is we probably need a little bit more semantic understanding in Adept to do what I'm trying to do.